Uh-oh. Can't see any? You probably don't have Better Twitch TV. It's an add-on to your browser. It's dope if you want it. Better Twitch TV is pretty cool. You can get, like, animated emotes and stuff. Music's really... Oh. Like, the music's so low! Bad girl, I know. Zeke even took his. Like, I watched Zeke take his, and I was like, I should take mine, and then didn't. How stupid am I? Did I garden already? I don't remember. Hello? I did garden already. Okay, we're cool. Okay. Thank you, Stajin. Franker face with a better Twitch TV plugin. Yes. Good job. I know Zeke took his. I'm the moron. I can't believe I forgot yesterday. This is Fire Emblem. This is Fire Emblem Three Houses, and it's so fucking good. No, dude, and that's why I'm just giving you guys a hard time. I completely understand if you don't want this game spoiled for you. Like, go away. I wouldn't watch either. Is it even possible? That being said, the game is so fucking long, it's really hard to run into spoilers, I find. Like when I watch my friend T play it, she's playing such something so different. I never find spoilers. And she's on a different track than I am. I'm on the Crimson Rose or Crimson Flower or Crimson Moon or whatever it is. That's the track I took, if that makes sense. There's four different story tracks you can take in the game. Two for Black Eagle and then one for the deer and one for the lions. When Fire Emblem, dude, this game, you don't even know. It gets so much prettier. Have you played this game yet? It gets, I mean, this is nothing. You got to see the cutscenes and shit, man. They're beautiful. Are you asking if I'm okay <sighs> with killing my former colleagues? Sometimes it's easier to get by without any personal attachment or religious beliefs. <laughs> Playing Fire Emblem, I must go. I accidentally pulled out my catheter. <laughs> Hail Satan, honey. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh my God! Is your birthday the is your birthday on the twenty first? Is it really? You're a Gemini. You're the first day of Gemini. Zeke's is tomorrow. It's not. 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 Zeke asked me. He's like, "Have you looked up what goes to what person yet?" I was like, "No." <laughs> months in a row use but was that sort of baby i challenge you to go forth and touch butts consensually thank you for being amazing wait Sometimes can she teach me sword no seriously oh my god we're gonna have to sing a lot of happy birthdays then you're getting we are literally getting puppies for his birthday yeah i don't know how much better you can get than that than getting puppies for your birthday HP matched X. Let's do luck. I have no experience cooking. My mom's a Gemini. Can't bear watching. I haven't told anyone Maybe what kind of puppers yet. It's a surprise. You gotta come of by course. when I stream on Thursday to see them. Getting weed and getting laid for your birthday for free? That sounds amazing. Um, Zeke doesn't smoke weed, so that's not what he's going to get. But I I'll definitely touch his penis if he wants me to. I mean, I touch his penis all the time. So that's not like a birthday special. Yeah, right. Like best birthday present ever. Puppies. How can you be upset about anything when you're getting puppies? Nobody can be upset. Bernadetta's fine. Ferdinand needs some. And Adel fuck. What is that sex? Ew. <laughs> I know why. My dad pulled his catheter out after other. his vasectomy. You want <gasps> to see who can eat more quickly? Ferdinand, please stop making everything a competition against me. Unless you're allergic, heartless, or both. We're getting um hypoallergenic dogs, so extra special birthday penis touches. Exactly. 
like in between gags, I'll be like, happy birthday, oh, happy birthday to you. you. I'm just kidding. That's gross. Who would do that? Yucky penises. Petra and Shamalama Ding Dong? Sure. I would be liking that greatly. Hmm. I was just kidding though. I, like I already got what I wanted. Ooh. Can confirm bees received yesterday. I mean, I like to suck dick. So it's not like I have to wait for a holiday and be like, okay, I'll finally suck your dick. I'm like, yay, penis eh, all the time. He has a nice cock. It's wonderful. And I'm gonna be honest. He uh he uh it's a nice way to put it. I don't know, he eats me out all the time. I was gonna try to think of like a cool, clever way to say that. I'm not clever today. Oh, like pussy! Pussy! I need to feed fuck stick over here. Guess I'm not gonna feed Dorothea. We just gotta find her and make her happy. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I came home to blood everywhere in the catheter on the floor. Fuck off. Oh my god. I know this is extremely personal, but what would you do if you looked at Classy Katie mid-sex and saw? <laughs> He'd probably think I was having a stroke. <laughs> or come in my mouth. Maybe it's just a giant like a target. My heart for secret tactics. You know? I enjoy attacks that are surprising. Yeah, I would have pissed myself. Like that is horrifying. We need a yay emote with yay penis. Yes, hunting is doing surprise attacks on prey. Target, lovely. Surprise <laughs> attacks are safe with friends. Fewer injuries. That is a wonderful thing. I have no liking for the thought of losing anyone. Yes, ma'am. This, this is not. This is. This is. This. This. This it's to stick it where you feel it will make a this difference. Is not exactly. This is not, this is a stroke of genius. No unintended. She's happy. I don't need to waste shit on her. Wait, can you teach me sword? Yeah, bitch. Really? Fine. Oh, did I talk to everybody? I did. We have a lot of points though. Um, let's see. Where is Dorothea wants to talk to me? What's up, Dorothea? How you doing, Gregarious Fister? Where is that coont? Oh, she's way the fuck out there. Okay. I see her. We have to go give her her joy. Right. What up, homie? I heard that Randolph died in battle guarding Garrick Mock. Can you guys hear that? Is that quiet? For, wow, more than five years. My chest feels tight. Think about it. There's no end in sight to the fighting. I might be next. Any of us could be. Going in the pee hole? Steven, have I ever told you the story about the woman whose husband fucked her urethra for like 20 years before they realized it because they couldn't get pregnant? Yeah, she went to the doctor and the nurse could not find her, her vagina. And so she called the doctor and the doctor was like, oh, wow, that's a really big urethra. Your husband's been fucking that. Looks Whoa, like you pussy. Exactly. <laughs> that sounds like one of Sylvain's old pickup lines. <laughs> yeah. But talk about not knowing your body at all. <laughs> together <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is everything horrifying me today? Maybe you need to take a toke, dude. Do you smoke? <laughs> let's see. I'm going to give her some flowers to make her. Actually, let's do a tea party. I usually do pretty good with her tea parties. Why, thank you so much. 
you're like the mother goose of medical horror stories you guys bring it out of me i don't like think about these stories all the time it just takes one word from you guys and i'm like ding 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 remember when that happened you guys you guys rush my memory all the time it's great our alerts so that's what i was asking this seems very quiet and alerts seem very loud so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna do that so i think so too i asked that earlier no one said anything maybe it was just me that should be better imagine having horribly painful sex for 20 years and keep doing it i mean pff, have to work or i would Boo. Um, let's see. Pine needles? Thank you for inviting me, Professor. Hi, David. Good morning. How are you? I'm pouring cereal in the bowl. Remember that guy with the fisting injury? For real the things that come up in my mind. Like, for instance, anytime I see a Wendy's, all I think about is this one patient I had who had no family, no one was coming to see her, and she was dying, and all she wanted, for some reason, was Wendy's chili. So one of the respiratory therapists left the building, went to fucking Wendy's, got her a bowl of chili, she got to take two bites, and she died. That's all I think about at Wendy's now. I'm ruined. Painful sex can be your thing. Some people are into it. I am not. I have literally left a room because a dick was too big and I didn't want to be involved in that. Oh, thank you so much. It was sad, but not really because at least Hello. we were there to comfort her and give her what she needed. I would never leave someone to die alone, ever. I will always sit with my yeah. patient with them. Oh, really? <gasps> Dork and Donuts. I saw a video a long time ago and no one believes me that I saw this. It was on Reddit. It was a lineup of women with just their asses poking out and they all pushed a soccer ball out of their buttholes. It smells good. It was incredible, like a full soccer ball. All of them, it was like, boop, 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 boop. It was on Reddit years ago. Dicks can be too big. I mean, just for me, I'm not saying there's a lot of women out there who are gaped out, have had many babies and they need your big penis. I don't want anyone in here with giant penises to feel bad. There are lots of vaginas that will fit you. I have a tiny vagina and I am, I don't want to feel that way while I'm having sex. I've been thinking about Jesus and sex a lot and it has me concerned. Oh my God, at the same time. Oh, we didn't read from the Jesus book today. It's Taco Tuesday and we forgot to read from the book of God. Fuck. Really? Not a perfect tea time. God damn it. I tried. That was a lovely cup of tea. Thank you, Professor. Please call me again. I love soccer too. I used to play soccer. I only got one. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Shut up. Take my money. Thank you, Professor. Sometimes you see dicks, seriously though. I mean, in my profession, I've been sent many a cock. And there have been many I've literally replied, I would never. Like, if you're stroking your dick and your hand is the base of your dick and there's an entire dick poking out the other end, that is too big for me. Like, like base, top, dick. What? I can't. I'm, I'm a tall woman, but I am not genetically tall on the inside, apparently. I've tried. I had sex with a big penis one time and it was horrible. I literally just felt like I needed to pee the whole time. So I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I didn't, and I left. No offense to the big penises. Again, you have a beautiful cock, just won't fit inside oh. me. <laughs> and that doesn't matter because I have a beautiful cock like 20 feet away that Almost fits. Hi there. Here's some daily Jesus, Ezekiel 23, 20. There she lusted after her lovers whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emission were like that of horses. Ugh, it's one of my favorite Bible lines. Thank you for sharing. I'm counting on you. Yeah. If, if there's more meat beyond this, I can't do that. And I will be like, I'm so sorry. You have a beautiful cock, but no. Yeah. That's a 
great knives. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. That is just... That's a lot of dick. That's a lot of cock. Do I have a note? No. I like honor meat. <laughs> I don't want any honor meat. Thank you. <laughs> I was watching one the other day. It must have been eight inches or more, and it was all going into a tiny woman. Dude, I've seen those. Like the itty bitty women that are like five feet tall and maybe a buck ten. And they have some giant monster cock from some big, beautiful black man going inside them. And it goes all the way. I'm like, did you have surgery to fit it? Like how long? How? I honest to God do not. Like I have a stopping point in my vagina. I... Those porns. I watch them and I'm not even turned on. I'm just like science. Like, why don't I see it poking out her belly right now? Those ones are wild. I would never body shame. I already pointed that out, Gail. I would never. Big dicks are beautiful. I'm just saying I don't want to fuck a big, gigantic dick. I can't. Physically. <gasps> what? Okay. okay. I have a bunch of points, though. I'm counting on you. Yeah, I can definitely not. It's not that I don't like it. I love a big dick. I appreciate it. I respect right, it. Right. I just don't want to have sex with it. That's all. And I'm talking a giant dick. Like, I just don't want to. And there's no shame in that, though. You don't have to like every dick in the world. Just like you don't have to like every pussy in the world, you know? Some guys might be like, I can't take that tiny pussy because only the head of my cock fits inside of it. In which case, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I'm not the girl for you. It's anatomy. Fuck yeah. Dude, cocks are beautiful. Every cock is beautiful and deserves to be fucked. I'm just stating that I can't do that one. And she said there was a guy with a 12 inch Impaled by penis should happen more than it does. Oh my god. Maybe the cock full. I've seen that. I've literally seen like when a guy in a porn is fucking a girl and his dick just starts to bend because she's not that deep. That's just, I just, my my soul Professor, and my heart. Halt! Don't come in here. <gasps> Ugh, I thought I told you to forget about that. There's something I don't want you to see. Breathreus, exactly. It's like enjoying a tarantula and how it looks. It doesn't have to be in my house for me to enjoy the way it looks, exactly. It does not have to be fucking me for me to appreciate a big, beautiful penis. I appreciate all bodies. They're all beautiful. But I don't want that tarantula in this house. A bent dick is horrible. Yeah, that you can break your dick. That's all I think about when I see that is like, you're gonna break your dick. You literally can. I've seen it. So... You know about it. <laughs> yes, it's a portrait Exactly! Of you. The human body is myself. Tetris. You gotta find the dick it's, that fits you. Uh, quite disgraceful. I did a terrible job with it, and it looks nothing like you. I love the tarantula. That's a great analogy. I love tarantulas, but I don't want one in my house. I'm happy that you appreciate my efforts, but please don't touch that door. The fuck is with you? What are you doing in there? A lot... The this Wong experience. chooses the wizard, Harry. <laughs> I love you. Is this just dorms? What am I doing in here? I'm just seeing if there's blue shit to collect anywhere. Broken stuff? This is a messy person. Pick up your shit, Lord. <gasps> Excuse me. I got them hiccups. It's all about how well you fit in my experience. I've had trouble with tight girls and getting in and out, getting it in and trouble with super wet or elastic girls and there's no friction. Yeah, it's all about anatomy and just finding your fit. Absolutely. I would never shame. My fit is not a giant penis though. They scare me. From experience, the sex literally just feels like my bladder's being punched in the face over and over and over. And I don't, some people are into it. I'm not. Who can teach me in swords? Dritz. Oh, fuck my ass, Dritza.
My God! Here we go. You'll find your fit. Everybody has someone whose penis and vagina fits together. You just gotta find somebody. It's all about communication, man. Where's Yuritsa? Is he hiding? Where's that little bitch at? What is this? Okay. There's F Fletcher. Felcher. That's what I meant. Where the fuck's your. Aha! Uh -huh. The Knights of Saros. They certainly know how to inflict pain. However, the demon within me will be satiated only by fighting you. Raven, thank you for speaking about this. Many men have insecurities about their body part growing size, and as a man who's been as a man who's been cheated on, citing small dick reasons. Oh fuck off. That's a lie, by the way. She's lying to you. If anybody's like, I cheated on you because your penis was too small, she's an insecure, dirty ass cunt. That's just or he. That's ridiculous. No one would do that. Joining you at the right time for penis fitting and vagina conversation. Danish guy, perfect time. Perfect time. Please follow my friend Danish guy. <coughs> Sponginess, I find, is also a factor. If it's too long but still has a little give, it doesn't hurt as much. Absolutely. I mean, there's a point, like, this is probably too much of an over... I mean, that's an overshare. Should I just, who cares? I can feel Zeke's dick get harder sometimes while we're fucking, and he can breach the edge of being too big sometimes. Like, sometimes, when we're done, but he's still hard, it, he'll, like, fucking thrust and just punch my cervix as, like, a good game. Like, literally, both come, we're just, like, laying there, like, holy shit, and he'll be like, ah, good game, and I'm like, ah! It's on the breach. Miyazuki, thank you so much for those 43 fucking months! Use the butt with his baby, go forth and touch butts consensually, thank you. I remember my ex saying I had a small penis as an insult in text. I was just like, nah, no, no, that's not an insult. I'm sorry. That's insecurity. She's being insecure. She was probably gapped out, ho. Overshare? I know, right? Sometimes I like wonder and then I'm like, no, what have I not told you guys? Let's be honest. That's a high five. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like the fit, but I'm like, ah, the old cervical Charlie horse, a classic move. <laughs> That'll do pig punch. <coughs> oh, I can only do it once. All right, let's go to tea. I'm gonna make what? Mm. All right, I'll feed some more people. Mike, Mikey, and I'm gonna point out another thing about penises that a lot of people don't think about. The bigger the penis, the harder it is to blow. I'm gonna be honest, there comes a point, like, I know when Zeke is at maximum hardness because his penis no longer fits in my mouth. By the way, if you're not sucking a soft penis, what the fuck are you doing? Soft penises need attention too. But it like fits and it fits and it fits and then all of a sudden the head, I can feel the head of his dick start to rub on my teeth. Because my teeth, like, like my jaw is more narrow than his dick and I'm like, okay, now it's time to ride that bitch. I can't, I can't do that anymore because I'm just going to be grinding my teeth up and down. I'm like, that's not fun. No one likes, well, someone likes that. Zeke isn't into me biting his dick or chewing on it like a chew toy. <gasps> Hello, front page. Oh, good. It's really hard to suck a giant dick. Like, that is, that is some work. We've got morale meals today. Oh, that's cute. Um, who's my one who's low? One of my BBs is low. Oh no, didn't I already, I already boosted her up? Fuck, so I can just talk to anybody? Okay. Yeah, that's literally, my teeth are narrow. Like my upper jaw, my teeth are really narrow. So it comes to a point where I'm either gonna deep throw the dick or I've gotta give up and just have sex. Cause I, I just can't. His penis is too big for my mouth. And that's like, that's a problem. You gotta think about that shit. That's what I'm gonna do next time you wanna be blown. I'm just gonna chew on the side of it like a dog. <laughs> I dated a guy once who said he enjoyed the sensation of the smooth side of my molars rubbing against the side of his shaft. See, some people like it. His dick doesn't fit. At maximum hardness, it does not fit anymore. <laughs> Who'd have thunk that talking about dicks would get you front page? Um, I mean. I have a lot of friends at Twitch that are just very generous to me. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> C 
Misty Kate giving Cookie Monster head. C is for Cookie. It's good enough for me. I would never chew on a dick unless someone asked me to. That's just. Um, let's do something sweet. Bourgeoisie Pike. Okay. Oh, Yuritsa likes this one. Yuritsa and Bernayetta. My wife doesn't like swallowing pills, this let alone penises. She tells still does a thing, though. Fond memories. Blowing Zeke turns me on heavily. This is my favorite. I like to do that. You like it's great taste. And to me, it's not it's not like the act of it. It's the act of giving pleasure to my partner and something I have control over. It's like a control thing. Like I can hear him start to get off, and so I'll stop and just slowly use my hand and just tease. And it's like it's a control thing that gets me off too. So it's self-serving at the same time. I just see it as bringing my partner pleasure, which it, which turns me on. I like to please the other person more than myself. We are, we're educational, man. I never get weird here. All right. Now we're done, right? No one needs to talk to me. Nope. We good. Why do you think I munch that box so often? I'm telling you. It's hot. Oh, stretch. Oof. It's only weird if you make it weird, right? And we have a pretty, I mean, quote unquote, mature community. I agree. I agree 100% Rod. Like me getting off is just like the cherry on top. I want my partner to be happy. Like that's what sex is about for me. That's I'm horny to like get him off, but I'm a giver. I'm a caretaker. It's just my personality faults. <laughs> oh, perfection, oh. Hubert. That's my boy. <laughs> it's all in hand. So Katie, so Andrew. Mature is debatable on what definition you use. I mean, yeah, you right. You right. It's all in that. Hubert's a happy little bitch today, isn't he? Your instructions. I wish my ex was that way, only she was allowed to get off. That's weird. You shouldn't have been with that person. I'm sorry about your ex. Don't waste your time on someone who's all about themselves. That's not good for you. That was helpful. Yeah, your ex was a selfish piece of shit. That's sad. Woo! I understand now. No, did you send? Where'd you put it? Where is it? I want to see it. No. How can I see it? Can I go to your channel? Will it just be on your chat thing? I'm just going to go to your channel. Rod streams, by the way, guys. I think I already shouted him out today, but give him a follow. I want to see what his chat points look like now. Oh my god! Oh my god, that looks amazing. <gasps> Reese, you get to add something else to your amazing resume. By the way, guys, Reese is an amazing digital artist who I'm buying monitors for, so everything's just going to get better, and you have to fucking give her a follow. Go to her website. That's dope. That looks awesome. We're like Eskimo brothers now, Rod. It's like we've both fucked Reese a little bit. Which is weird to say out loud. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. This is new for Gizmo me. is his adorable white French bulldog who is, I mean, adorable. I don't know another word for it. Probably one of the cutest dogs I've ever seen in my life. Perfect! Mods I Discord. Understand now. Uh, what? What am I looking at? Your hair looks good. Oh my God, you're like a ginger. <gasps> Dude, your hair looks so good. It still looks healthy too. Oh my God, I love it. You look like a sun child. Andrew, you were the cutest thing in the whole world. Your hair looks really good. Like it looks perfect with your skin. That's amazing. You look like the cutest little ginger. Oh my God, I love it. Fuck off. Does this look better than your natural hair? I can't even tell. Andrew. 
I know. Millie's last day as an only child. She becomes a grandmother tomorrow. She's kind of being a bitch today, which makes sense. Jay, what's up, honeybean? Dude, Jay, I showed Zeke the uh, video that Lazne made and he spit. <laughs> it was <laughs> it's so good. <coughs> yeah, you literally look like a ginger. You know what you remind me of? You remind me of the brother, the gay, ironically, the gay brother from um, uh, Shameless. from Shameless. No, I have not seen Amelia's edit. Will you please share it with us? Zeke spit, bottle that stuff. Oh my God, honey, can we market your fluids? Okay, hey, thanks. Show me, I have to see it now. How dare you taunt me? I understand <laughs> now. The new bath water. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. Oh, oh, we do. I know. In the arms of an angel. Yeah, we do. My thanks. I must. I know. I love that it's a fallen develop. over table that he's standing on. Like, there's a story there that we're not getting the full picture of, and I'm into it. All right, weakling. That's right, ho. Perfect. Easier than I thought. I love pugs. Don't. They're just so fucking cute all the time. That's it. Perfect. Easier than I thought. Have a good day, medieval melody. Thank you so much for spending your morning with us. 